Hey everyone, welcome back to JV Survival. Again, this is John, myself is Vinny. And we're going to go over today just budget, survival, dollar store, kind of the basic yeah, stuff you can buy for the cheapest price ever. Cheapo stuff, man. And again, you know, and we're big providers, you know, of uh, budget survival. You know, it's you don't need the most expensive, best things out there. You just need something that's functional and uh, doesn't, break the, doesn't break the wallet. So, yeah, again, just to point out, if you do have the money and you want to spend further, you can do so. But again... For some people, just can't afford so much. This is the way to go. Yeah, you know, if you get a, uh, you know, even say twenty bucks laying around, you can get quite a bit of stuff even with twenty dollars. You know, you can stretch it pretty far uh, if you know where to look. You know, you go to say like uh, again, you know, we're we're big dollar store people. Uh, I know people will probably judge us, but I don't really care. You know, I, I do like looking no at shame. it. Um, we actually almost kind of uh, funded. I don't know, funded. You know. Uh, <laughs> Supplied my girlfriend's dorm room at the dollar store for about a hundred bucks. We spent everything, got so much stuff, pretty cheap, you know. And uh, you didn't have to go spend an arm and a leg. Yeah. Again, you can get those what three pound, three pound bags of rice for a dollar. Yeah, or whatever that's, it is, that's you know? what's up, man. I think. I mean, I think it comes out to maybe like a dollar a pound, but still, you know, it still isn't bad. Yeah. So. so I mean, you can get some good stuff there. So don't don't knock it till you try it. Yeah. Anyways, to start off, I guess uh, dollar store if you want, you get uh, a nice case of water. Um, they come in a pack of 24, I think, sometimes, 12 or yeah. 24, something like that. Yeah, they have gallon jugs, and they have, you know, yeah. different variety of packs. You can get a six-pack for, like, a dollar, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. I mean, uh, you know, you can get water pretty much a, a lot of stores. But, uh, again, it's one thing if you're there and you happen to see it, why not pick it up? So. Yeah, water is the necessity for life everywhere. This is your main need when it comes to survival, no matter what. I'm going to say three days without water, so yep. get some. And, um, like I said, if you want to go based off the logic, it's two liters or half a gallon per person a day. But you could probably stretch that a little bit. Um, and you get a nice box of gauze pads. You know, just about a pack of 100 here. Um, you can do multiple med kits for you, your wife, your there's, girlfriend, there's whatever. There's there as well. Yeah, I think this one was actually from Amazon. This was actually super cheap, though, too. I don't remember um, exactly where I got this from, uh, you know, as far as which seller. But I believe this box uh, was a 100 count of 4x4 four four gauze. Uh, it only cost me, I think, like maybe 5 bucks or something like that. You know, it was really inexpensive. Uh, again, you know, uh, I, don't, I don't anticipate, you know, having to use a lot of these, but it's always good to have a pack of 100. Uh, it's pretty much more than enough to uh, supply uh, pretty much all of my my bags, all of my gear uh, for quite a while. So again, four by four gauze, cheap online, but have. Again, you can get little little packs if you want. If you don't want to have so much left over, I guess I don't know. We like a lot from redundancy and whatnot. Yeah. So I guess you can get a pack of ten, whatever, yeah. different sizes, whatever you want to do. Yeah, these these are from the dollar store. This is a Curad brand. Uh, and these are two by two gauze, but again, for a box, I guess it's just one dollar. So that right there, you, uh, you could throw a whole bunch of these in uh, wherever you need them, and they come in handy. Again, dollar store cure ad. You get your, um, your extra um, band aids here. You know, you can do those. You get your alcohol prep pads. Again, single, one use kind of deals. Yeah, was um, hundred? I think there's a hundred in there. And again, these are all dollar, guys. These these boxes right here, if you go to a Dollar Tree, I think we should make that known as we go to the Dollar Tree. Now, there's a few places out there that think that there's dollar stores. Or dollar General. Yeah, you need to go to one where it's literally everything is a dollar. Specifically so, a dollar. Yeah, in our area, they're called the Dollar Tree. Uh, some of your areas, they may be called something else. But look for one of those where everything is a dollar. That's where you're going to find some of the best deals. Again, Dollar Store, antibacterial moist wipe, wipe, wipes, that. <laughs> wipes. And, you know, they come in a pack of 20 here, Dollar Store, a good, again, I've used these plenty of times. Multiple times, yeah. They come in handy. Um, again, he's got spools of wire here. Yeah, yeah, this is, if you guys remember from the last video uh, we had put up, uh, I carried, do you carry that one small spool of wire? Right here at Dollar Store, one dollar, six rolls of uh, basic wire. So something to look at. Again, again, you can use them for snares. You can tie things together, and a piece of your car falls apart. So uh, who knows? You can use those and whatever. Yeah. Uh, again, hook and loop or Velcro. They should say. You know, these come in handy. If you need to do anything with Velcro. It's cheap. That's what's up? Rain ponchos. Got to get one of these or a couple. Whoever, how many you have in your family? Just keep them in the card or lightweight, they're pretty cheap. Get the full size, and you're good to go. Again, the elements outside is what's going to kill you, so try to stay protected. And no expiration on that, too, which is great. <laughs> so, we live in the Northeast. Hand warmers. You can get 
these all all around. Oh yeah. You know, but they're they're very good. You know, hands be cold, warm them up, simple as that. You know, you can just put them anywhere in your socks, boots, whatever. Yeah, know. car breaks down or something, or if it's just cold, power goes out, and you're starting to get chilly, or you're outside for a long duration. Yeah, pop one of those open, shove it in your glove, or put it in your boot, or whatever. You know, throw it in the pocket even if you need to, and you know they go a long way. They definitely help. Yeah. So, again, big pack. Also, come in handy. Face masks. I know they're not the what, the R95s or whatever. Yeah, they're not called. the uh, N95. N95s. Yeah, yeah. You know, but uh, they but, still. Yeah, it will still work. I mean, the premise is basically the same. It may be a little bit uh, thinner material, not quite uh, medical grade, uh, quote unquote. But I'll tell you what, though, I'd rather have that than nothing. Uh, especially, you know, if, with a lot of you guys, if you're having familiar, the flu season for this year has been. It's been insane. Yeah. Uh, there's been so many flu cases. Uh, so many children have passed away from the flu. It's been it's been uh, absolutely a horrible season. Um, so again, you know, go to the dollar store, pick up this. There's how many in that pack right ten, there? Ten actually for a ten. dollar. It's ten for a dollar. The whole um, family can have what they need. Yeah, you're going out in a public place. You know, again, it may look weird and you know, to each your own. But uh, would you rather look weird and be healthy, or you know, uh, not and get sick and uh, you know, potentially have some major uh, health issues? Again, dollar store is pretty much a gold mine when it comes down to um, you know, candles, things like that. You can either get you know, bigger candles or you get the tea light candles, tea candles, whatever they call yeah, it. Yeah, tea lights. You know. um, as Vinny mentioned, I mean, this is right here. These, are, I think, are probably two of the most underestimated, uh, underrated things. Now, a tea light, a simple tea light like this, um, I mean, these things you can use forever. I keep these in my fire kits. Um, again, you know that's something I think we're gonna we're gonna do uh, before too long. So we're really gonna get into like say a fire kit. Uh, a tea light is awesome. It's a very small portable you know candle you keep with you. Um, you light your you know you light it with your your lighter or match or whatever have you. Um, this is a constant source of flame, and this will last a pretty decent amount of time. Uh, you know now you're saving fuel on your lighter or say you're you know saving matches. Um, you can put this you know you can have a, a fire set up in front of you. You can light this and slide it underneath. And now that constant flame is going to help light that. Now you're not sitting there with your freaking lighter the whole time. Um, you know, I think these things are a, a great, uh, kind of underrepresented uh, not resource. Only, not only that is when it comes to like wilderness survival, whatever, uh, fire is key for psychological. Mm -hmm. If you have a little bit of light, a little bit of fire, it's going to help you psychologically go a longer way. Yeah, so. absolutely. Or, you know, you can even use the wax from this uh, to do other things, though, too. Mm -hmm. um, Definitely. You know, again, that's that's a topic for another day. But you know, uh, you know, we're big proprietors of having candles. And again, these these can be had at the dollar store. I mean, this one candle, unscented. Um, you can get scented ones if you like. Uh, unscented are good because you know, if your power goes out and you have you know twenty of these things burning around the house, uh, having different scents burning around the house may actually drive you crazy after a while. So having an unscented one uh, may, you know, may for for useful. And again, tea lights. You can get a pack of these, probably you know, pack of twenty or fifty or something like that, oh, yeah. maybe even a hundred. Uh, for, for pennies. So uh, definitely take a look for those as well. Again, dollar store, get a pack of four for matches. You can get a bunch of other things too probably, but uh, you know, matches go along with so yeah. pretty much. Again, when it comes to the medical portion of it, dollar store, you get a nice uh, back patch for a little yeah. bit of relief. Yeah. But uh, yeah. little things, you know, they, they have so much medical stuff there, go check it out. Uh, there's actually, uh, speaking of this, because this is more slightly medication related, um, there are tons of different medications there that people don't realize. They have uh, aspirin, Tylenol, Advil, uh, sleep stuff, uh, congestion, allergy meds. Like, they have a whole bunch of stuff, and each little container is only a dollar. Um, yeah, you know, we, yeah. we have our separate med bags. You know, we, we like to keep medically trained, um, and we keep supplies on hand in our vehicles, stuff like that. Um, oh, but, yeah, that's the best way to do what's it. What's good about it, though, is it's not... You could say generic stuff. It has the same medicinal formula that's in, say, Advil, Absolutely. but it's still, you know. Yeah. They still everything has to go through FDA regulation, and these things pass with flying colors. You know, I mean, the quality you're really paying for with, you know, something like Advil or Tylenol is you're paying for the name, you're paying mm -hmm. for the marketing. Um, you know, with this, you're getting the same exact thing, same outcome, uh, just for a heck of a lot less. Yep, yep. Generic. So. Yeah. Again, you know. Maybe not the dollar store, but still on a cheaper end, four or five dollars at Walmart, whatever like that. You get nice multi tools we went over before. Uh, again, as you see, we have multiple of these because oh, yeah. they're cheap. Yep. Um, never know when you're going to need super glue for anything. Uh, I would say super glue you can use on very superficial wounds, you know, things like that, or just for your vehicle or anything falls apart. No yeah. super glue. Your tent, tarp, whatever. Super glue back together. There you go. So, I mean, super glue. Multiple uses, yeah. 
again, the knife we went over, cheap. Again, not so much dollar store, but yeah, Ozark Trail protection. budget. You know that that right there is a, a three or four dollar knife. I don't know where you got this bad boy here. That I actually got at Walmart as well. I believe that was uh, I got that on sale. I think for like four fifty, maybe five bucks. Yeah. Um, that's a full a solid tang. A plastic uh, case, not Kydex, but yeah, it's, still it's full tang. It's pretty right. pretty good. You know, if you just keep it sharp, you're good to go. Decent knife. I keep that actually right in my nightstand. Um, you know, next to uh, various uh, other assortment of things, just in case. You know, it's a uh, you know, semi-home defense kind of thing. So, again, you know, a small little flashlight goes a long way. Again, light, if you're in the middle of the woods or by yourself or whatever, light goes a very long way. You need to use your hands for any need, but your mouth's very small. But, uh, again, I suggest getting a headlight if you want to do something like that. Right. You know, headlamp is was good to keep your hands free, but very cheap flashlight, good to go. Got any sprains, anything like that. You got a nice little ace bandage, pretty cheap, dollar store, boom. You can pick up multiple of these. You know, yeah, you can use a, a compression uh, bandage as well. You know, if you have some kind of wound you're trying to keep stuff on, mm -hmm. uh, just wrap it really tight on there too. And even, I think that even comes with the little metal clips too. Yeah, so, yeah, it does. Yeah. So for a dollar, I mean, guys, again, this is this is stuff that you know you should just pick up and have around the house. You know, even if you're not going to use it in gear, just you know, this is actually stuff. If you guys don't know, I mean, this this tote right here, I have, I, I keep. This is all my extra stuff. You know, so all the stuff you guys are seeing here is just stuff I buy extra. It's just, just extra, you can make multiple yeah. kits, multiple persons, you know, you can do whatever you need, you have extra gear, always right. good to have. Yeah, it's always good to have, you know. Um, and I know in line with the uh, with the stretch roll bandage here though too, is uh, Vinny also has here the waterproof tape. Um, I mean, you can get waterproof tape, you can get regular tape, again, all dollar store stuff. Guys. Tons of tape, again, see right there, dollar store antibacterial wipes if you don't want the, uh, the single use, you can get kind of like the Lysol wipe kind of way and pull out. Again, 20, uh, 75 in that bad boy. Zip ties. Love these things. They come in handy. I actually just used these uh, in my girlfriend's car. Fender kind of came off. So. <laughs> but anyways, you know, but they uh, they come in handy for a multitude of needs. Yeah. So yeah, well, you know, whether it be you know doing electrical work or you know just zip tying. I mean, zip ties have a, a million uses. Um, you know, I mean, you, you don't have to tell you guys if you're watching this. You probably already know. Probably more things that we could do with these things than uh, that we can think of right now. So I mean, if you didn't have cordage, so to say, you can yeah. put your just your your um, grommets on your tarp, tie it around a branch. Boom, there you go. Oh. You don't have to worry about oh. tying anything. Uh, and this pack goes right there. That's a pack of like five hundred or something like that. Six hundred. Yeah, for three bucks. Uh, for three bucks. The Christmas tree shop. That's again. You know, who would have thought? You know, you can get both to the sizes too. Right. Bungee cords also just as good as uh, the zip ties. These things are. Amazing when it comes to whatever you need. Uh, yeah, so bungee cords. Yeah, it was a pack of four, I think, from Dollar Store as well. So, mm -hmm. uh, to go back again, we have more band aids. Dollar Store. It's a pack of twenty. So, and was it knuckle and fingertip one? So yeah. they have different varieties. You can either get the the main, the big pack, which I think has like eighty band aids in it, of uh, you know just like traditional, you know, kind of rectangular ones. Uh, well, they have ones like this. They're you know, more designed for you know knuckles and uh, stuff like that. Again, they're all dollar guys. So uh, again, I uh, went to the dollar store and I had this little very thin quarter inch by like I don't know five inch by five inch or whatever it was, you know, um, uh, travel pack that I had. Mm -hmm. So what I did is I threw a couple of those other moist pipes uh, wipes in there and a couple other things, and I had like a very small compact med kit that you can just keep in your back pocket or you know, some little pouch or whatever. So again, dollar store help dollar store needs. So yeah, and these things hold too. I mean, the, you know, some people may say the adhesive on these things suck. They're actually not that bad. I mean, I find these things pretty comparable to uh, a lot of main brands. Again, for a simple person, lighters are probably the way to go. I mean, if you get waterlogged or whatever, probably gonna work too much, but you can still probably use the spark off it or whatever. But lighters are the way to go for the simple need. Again, if you try to do those ferrocium rods. Might need a little more training on it. You try to strike it, you just knocked over your whole tinder bundle, whatever kind of thing. You got it, you know, or the magnesium striker. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to shave off a good amount before you try to strike it, but that's a pain in the butt. So I would suggest just using straight lighters for you guys. Yeah. Containers. You can get a multitude of different oh, size yeah. containers at dollar store. You can use these for whatever you need. Yeah, and that's actually a name brand one too. Algene? Yeah, it's an, yeah. It's an Algene bottle, I and mean, it's, it's a smaller one. But I think that was yeah, it was actually less than a dollar, I think. Um, you know, and again, I mean that's that's a name brand great bottle. 
Um, it's going to have a great seal on top, so you put something in there, you know it's not going to leak out all over the place. Yeah, um, put whatever you want. Yeah. You, know, you can keep water in there if you want, you can keep vodka, you know, <laughs> yeah, you can keep whatever you want in there, guys, you know? Yeah. I wouldn't suggest walking around with any gasoline, but, yeah, you know, never know. Um, again, it's a small little pocket guide, kind of give you tips for how to build fires or camp, you know, make a shelter or whatever out in the woods. So you can have like a, so if you don't have the knowledge yourself, keep a small little pocket guy, a little book, something in there to try to help you when that need arise, arises. So Yeah, yeah, that's just an example of one. That's but, just one that came with the survival knife. But you, yeah, yeah, but I'm saying you can see how small it is. You can tuck this yep. right in your pack. You don't have to worry about it when you have to use your pack. There, there, yeah, there. it's that ease of mind, guys. You know, there's so many other things going on in the world. It's hard to you know, remember everything. So having something like that, you could just throw in a bag or throw in your pocket. And it is made of paper, so you can use it to burn. There you so. go. <laughs> uh, again, this is not dollar store. That was that's actually dollar this store. This is dollar yeah, store. Dollar store. Yeah. Look at that sharpening stone, dollar store. You need a double sided, six inch. You know, again, I don't know if you want to carry it with you, but you got to keep that nice sharp. Yeah, you know, so yeah, throw it in, uh, throw it in a, a bin, or throw it in your workshop at home, or uh, in a toolbox or something. You know, your blades start to dull if you don't have a, a you know grinding stone, or if you don't have like a, uh, an automatic one to you know to do it. Um, you know, this is, this is a great thing to have. You know, you just sharpen your blades really quick. Again, you want a nice bottle that could take some flame, some heat to it. I would suggest non-aluminum, maybe just steel. Um, something that you, you know, if you put it over the heat, you keep it right in your fire or whatever, it's going to boil, purify some water pretty good without having to worry about a lot of uh, impurities or whatever going into your water or it melting or deforming or right. whatever else. Yeah, you definitely want to go stainless steel. Uh, I feel like that's probably the best way to go. Um, again, this one's a really budget one. You definitely, if you're going to use it, I would suggest taking off, taking off the top, say our plastic. Uh, take out the straw, but I mean, you can use this container itself. Uh, you know, you can boil stuff in it, cook stuff in it, as, as Vinny was saying. I mean, you can, if you're gathering berries, whatever, you can do that. I mean, yeah. whatever. Storage, yeah, whatever you need for it. Whatever you need. So, weapon. You know. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, again, when I said about the multitude of different container sizes, these are sprayable uh, ones. So, if you ladies like to smell good all the time and you want to keep some perfume around, uh, I don't know, or uh, some mouthwash or yeah, whatever, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, you can honestly, if you really want to, if uh, you know, if you don't have, you know, say some of these wipes or something, uh, you can go and get a bottle of, say, hydrogen peroxide or a bottle of, say, you know, maybe 70% uh, uh, alcohol. Uh, you can put it right in those bottles, screw it on, and as long as there's, there's a seal on it, uh, you should be fine. It shouldn't yeah, evaporate out. You, know, you shouldn't have any leaking bleach issues. Bleach and water. Bleach and water. Yeah, I mean, septic property to spray on. Yeah, I mean, there, there's a multitude of options, and it's always good having some of these here. Again, that's a pack of three, and that was a uh, dollar. So, yeah. um, it's always good to keep your options open. You know, and again, just we have a bunch of little different pouches and packs, so you can pick up whatever you like, whatever design you like, whatever. Uh, these have the Molly attachment in the back. Should we get into those though? Because those, those are just excess from. Uh... I'm just I'm just saying you need something probably to store stuff in. Okay. So I mean, if you, it's not so much dollar store, but I'm saying in whatever packs you got laying around the house, you can fill them up to fit your fit in your needs. Yeah. All right. So like that. Um, stuff we have. <laughs> again, small little pouches. Yeah, actually, we got this guy. So the oh, it's the fishing kits I never finished. Yeah. So again. Dollar store packs, uh, multiple compartments. You can put some stuff in there for a fishing kit. You get some some hook line sinkers, you know. Yeah, those I think we got from uh, Dick Sporting Goods. Uh, you know, they're, they're pretty cheap, pretty inexpensive. You know, dollar maybe two dollars for a pack Let's of hooks. See what we got here. Uh, different things. Oh, look, I actually have a receipt right there. That's that's convenient. I uh, got these actually at Walmart. Uh, this particular batch, and uh, yeah, the hooks right there, dollar uh, fifty eight. And uh, yeah, I mean that's like okay, again. Your line, your bombers, your sinkers, some whatever you need. You can put it together yourself, keep it in your pack. Yeah. You don't have to worry about Actually, anything. You know what? In some of those right there, I found the other receipt here too. Some of those fish hooks, 88 cents, guys. That's even less than a dollar. Uh, again, you know, all you need is uh, just enough for, you know, a little bit of uh, fishing line, some some hooks. Uh, you make yourself a little fishing kit. You know, you can get crafty out there. You know, get some sticks, find some branches. You don't even need to bring a fishing pole. You know, you just... Yeah, use a can, uh, Campbell soup can. Yeah. Right around there if you want. Whatever, yeah. store everything inside. Go, go dig in the dirt. You find yourself a nice worm. You don't have to bring a uh, bait with you. <laughs> but, um, again, a lot of this stuff, you don't have to buy in one increment. It's whenever you get the paycheck. You want to buy something real quick. You know, you spend 10 bucks here and there, whatever. Yeah. You know, 2 bucks here, whatever you want to do. You just put together a nice kit. Yeah, absolutely. Tarps. 
Gotta love the tarps. I don't believe this is at the dollar store. No, that should, these were. These are the dollar store ones. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So again, I mean, this is exactly, you know, sometimes, you know, it's been a little while since we've been there and, you know, we, we forget. Have a lot of extra. Yeah. And they, they change our inventory, uh, you know, fairly constantly. They get new things in. Uh, this is a four by six, uh, you know, just blue, standard blue tarp. Uh, they work pretty well. I mean, it's a little bit small. So, I mean, you know, you got to be mindful if you're packing it in there. It's not going to be something you're not going to be, you know, covering your car or, you know, covering your house with it. But, you know, four by six, I mean, it's enough. You can throw it over yourself. Use it as a makeshift poncho or something. I mean, if, yeah, if you really had to. Really it's kind of small, to. four by six for a guy of our size or whatever. Right. But um, you can use it to catch water in, things like that, you know. So keep the rain off. Yeah, yeah. tarps are always useful. And again, a dollar for one, I mean, it's, it's really hard to beat that. Uh, again, these might not be the best quality, but they'll do suffice, you know, whatever. If you want to go buy the better stuff, the different three mil, whatever, you can. But yeah. dollar store needs fit dollar store. Budget purchase. survival, guys. <laughs> And I think that almost concludes the dollar store spectrum of this. Um, yeah, I mean, and, and, and you know, everything we have here, again, this is just an ec uh, extra stuff. You know, there's probably more of this stuff that, uh, you know, we probably have in our bags that we don't necessarily may, may or may not have extras of. Um, you know, so this is, this is just an idea of some of the stuff you guys can get for a very reasonable price. Uh, as Benny said, you don't have to buy everything at once. You know, you could... Go to the store, you pick up, you know, band-aids and, you know, bungee cords. You're like, okay, you know, I only got, you know, two or three bucks on me. Uh, there you go. You know, you just got, you add to your collection. You know, the next week you get paid, you know, you go in there and you say, okay, I'm going to pick up this and that. And, you know, next thing you know, I mean, that's how this was acquired. I, I didn't go there all and buy this all in one day. I mean, this is stuff that, uh, you know, I've, I've been uh, buying over, over the course of, yeah. you know, a few years now. And um, Again, there's other items, other products that just they're out there that we just don't have on the table currently. But this is, like I said, this is his extra supply that we're going over with with you, just to show you what you could get at a dollar store, and there's necessarily more stuff out there. Right. So, so anyway, guys, uh, what we always recommend is be prepared. You know, you just never know what may or may not happen. Um, again, it could be a snowstorm, hurricane. You know, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, if there's some kind of disaster or something, you want to have enough stuff to be prepared. And again, you don't have to spend a ton of money. To, to, to be ready. So, uh, again, I appreciate you guys all stopping by. Uh, again, this is a JV Survival. And uh, so, yeah, uh, thank you guys again for checking us out. So, JV Survival, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Give us a thumbs up if you guys like the content. And uh, as always, leave us a comment if you guys have any suggestions or things you want to see, or have any questions. Uh, yeah, so, till then, we'll see you guys next time. Bye.